magnets and magnetism, question 2A and B. A magnet produces a magnetic field. Which diagram shows the magnetic field pattern around the bar magnet? Okay, so we're looking here, we've got to try and remember which one it is. Um, so we've got, uh, hopefully you can remember it, it always um, looks like this. We've got field lines that go from a south to a north. So the way to imagine it is if I've got a, another magnet, what would happen? Well, it would definitely pull onto one end and push off the other. It wouldn't sort of go around in circles like this. So we know, hopefully, it's not either of those two. So it's going to be one of these two here. And we need to remember that always for magnetic fields, it always goes north to south. The arrows always go from north towards south. So here is these arrows are going from north. They're going towards south and they're going from north to south. So it's that first one there. The way I always remember that is I think about um, sort of back in the early days when magnets, uh, the magnetic field convention was sort of first agreed. Um, yeah, we always uh, sense people from north to south. So the idea sort of spread from north to south. Okay, in the UK, we travel from north to the south. Uh, so northern hemisphere to the southern hemisphere. So that's the direction of the arrow. Part B. Figure one shows three metal blocks. The blocks are not labelled. One block is a permanent magnet, one is iron and one is aluminium. Describe how another permanent magnet can be used to identify the blocks. So we have three marks. So one, two, three bullets. Okay, so one of them is a permanent magnet. One is iron and one is aluminium. So what do we know about those things? First of all, we know that aluminium is not magnetic, so non-magnetic. Iron will always attract. Permanent magnet will attract or repel, depending on the end, depending on the poles you've got. Okay, so that's what we're going to say. So the block not affected by the magnet is aluminium. The block which is attracted from every side, which is only ever attracted when, uh, when, what, when touching any sides. Well, any attractive, sorry, to all sides, to all sides of the magnet is iron. Okay, and the last one we've got is the block that is attracted to one pole. Repelled to other, or by other, sorry, by other is the permanent magnet. Okay, the one that people forget there is the fact that permanent magnets will attract and repel. Uh, by making a note up here at the top of the page, as at the top of the question, um, permanent magnets will attract and repel. Iron always attracts, aluminium always uh, is never attracted. Um, that really is the key to unlocking this question.